Palestinians up, attempting man. to pray to their God because they are first and foremost believers in God. However, despite the Palestinians being believers and a praying people, you see them being slaughtered like they are vermin or flies by these Western powers. So, that argument, my dear brother, that you put forward is really nonsensical because it's not about might. The only reason today, the only, the only reason today, the God of truth, the God of truth, if you're worshiping the real God of truth, that we, we are we're even talking about, talking about I don't know why you're talking about God. Well, we talk that we are showing talking any about kind of respect you and know, respect for the Palestinians, that guy is. is guess why? Seriously, because man. they what are resisting it, tyranny. What? Because despite the fact that, that they don't have no, the actually, weapons to be able to match America's weapons or Britain's weapons, they still fight, they still do their very best to fight back because it's not about might. Yes. But if you lay down in front of a wicked enemy yes. and you expect that enemy to show you mercy, you are the biggest fool on the planet. Is, in is, fact, is that what it says in the word fact, of God? Is that what the word fact, of God says? You are the biggest fool? See, the, what, is there, the Iraqis, the Iraqis were disarmed. Uh, the Iraqis Sorry. were disarmed. Can, you've been talking for a while. Can the brother the ask you a question? The Iraqis were disarmed the brother over your 12 question. years. Is it okay for the brother and to the ask Americans your question? And the Americans imposed sanctions on that nation and killed nearly a million Iraqi children while they were being disarmed. It was, only when, it was only when the what Americans the and the British realized that the Iraqis didn't have the ability in the to defend themselves in 2003, that's when they attacked Iraq. Because they are cowards. They are cowards. And they will lull you into a false sense of security. So one on one here. Where you have no brother, means, brother. We have a one on one here. You have no let's means let's talk. You talk to us. No Can we ask you a question, brother? Can we ask you a question? And then they will slaughter you. Can we ask you a question? Just like they are slaughtering men, women, what do you and have to fear? children. Do you, do you have? Do you have Palestine anything to fear, today. brother? Do you have anything to fear? Little babies. Can we have a, a dialogue? We, we, don't, we, don't need a, we don't need a monologue. We need a dialogue. We need a dialogue with you, brother. We need a dialogue, a dialogue, a dialogue with you, brother. Cowardly we don't need a monologue. We don't need a monologue from you at the moment. We need a dialogue. If there was an army, if there was a, a military that could resist them, they would stay far away. And so understand. Understand can I, can I ask you a question? why we got to be strong today. Can I ask you three questions? In the way in which we stand up. Are, are you willing now, to have a dialogue I, let with let normal people this. here? Can I ask you a few questions? Let me address this. I challenge are you willing Allah. to have a dialogue? I'm not going to take your questions. Why? Oh. What, what do you have to fear? What do you have to fear, brother? You say you go do your question can I, can first can and then you'll take the yes, others. Now he's not going to answer no questions. I'm not going to take your question. Because you're a coward. Because you're a coward. He said, you don't need your You don't need your body. Oh, really? What? Really? Yes, sir. This is this is the area of free speech. Yes, sir. Wow. Free speech. Speak, speak, right? speak, I had my speak hand as yes. much as you want. Yes, a dialogue, Nobody not a monologue. Speak. No, but you can not answer my question. This is what Muslims do. Oh, yeah. They cannot answer a question, the so they run away. The truth. Cowards. The truth. Cowards. Why did the Muslims enslave black people in Africa? Why did they do that? 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 Why Verse and six. so when he quotes scripture, it is to give Verse some type of cover for his actions and behavior. <laughs> but 
But what but they, they do is they like he quotes quote scripture out of context questions. and he wants to claim that they are the people of God and they are righteous and that the Palestinians are this dark force which they are justified by scripture to destroy wholesale. And so they call the Palestinians Amalek. But this is, this is so disingenuous, this is so wicked and evil because they have no relationship to those scriptures and they are not people of God. And so that's why they use it. It's the same way. It's just important to appreciate that when, um, oh, we're, we're terrified of you, man. Thank you. It's just, it's just, it's just important. It's just important to, to appreciate that whenever an evil person comes, they never come in their own name. They come in the name of the righteous servants of God, or they come in the name of God Himself. And so this is really just a, 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 a ruse. It's a trick that they want to use. I have my hand to try up the to fool the global right, population respect. that they are the people who are steeped in the, the, the scriptures. Right. Thank you for your question. Anybody got a question? Any, anybody got a question? Okay. I have a question. What is it? Yes, sir. What is it? What is your question? Yes, sir. Is it true that you were more involved in the murder of Malcolm X? No, sir. So why was Malcolm X afraid to come out of his home? Why was what? Why was Malcolm X afraid to come out of his home before he was assassinated? Okay, so. I want a specific question. Is, FBI. That, is that your specific question? I just want to know, is it true? Is that your specific question? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, so, with the FBI. So, sorry, sorry. so, first of all, it is very important that you do your research, that you go back and you look at the counterintelligence program of the FBI. The FBI, I told you guys. The FBI, they said, they said, I'm from the States, are so are you interested in the answer? That's why they scared us all. No, I'm asking you because I, I, I don't waste my time answering questions to people who are not interested in the your answer. Time. Yeah, it's my time. My time. My time. No. So, so the FBI. I gave you time. So the FBI. No, I agree with you. The FBI, using the counterintelligence program, they said that they were working for over 20 years to separate Brother Malcolm from his leader and teacher, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. According to the actual facts of what happened on that day when Brother Malcolm was assassinated, I don't know nothing about what you're saying about, about, about Malcolm being afraid to go out of his house. Malcolm was going all over the world. He traveled to Mecca, he went to Africa, he went to different places. He came to France, they stopped him from coming here. And so, and so it's important that you understand that the FBI and the American government with the New York Police Department, these are the assassins mm -hmm. of Brother Malcolm X. And they lied and the, and the media lied and said it was members of the Nation of Islam. But if you go and study now, you will see that just recently, all of those who were falsely convicted from the Nation of Islam have now been completely exonerated and they've had to pay compensation to their families because, because they served 39 years in prison for a crime they did not commit. And the pattern of behavior by the, F by the, um, the FBI is very standard. This is what they do. They kill Martin Luther King. They kill Malcolm X. They kill their own president, Kennedy. Right. They kill their own president, Kennedy. And so let's just be clear. The Nation of Islam had nothing to do with the death of Brother Malcolm X. Brother Malcolm X is our brother. We love Brother Malcolm X. And Brother Malcolm X for over 12 years taught what you hear coming out of my mouth today. Only in the last year of his life when he was drawn out of the nation by wicked agent provocateurs within the ranks of the nation did Brother Malcolm become confused and got himself into a situation where he made it possible for the enemy to assassinate him. And so that's my answer to your question. Thank you, thank you, for, the, thank you for the question. Thank you for the question. Oh, by the way, 
if you want to know how to ask a question, that's how you ask a question. I have my hand raised. You you show you show respect. Wait, I have my hand raised. And you be polite. I have my hand raised for ten minutes. I don't, I don't give a damn. You could have had your hand raised for a week. Oh, it really? makes no difference. <laughs> and he said, I'm makes no difference. And I'm disrespectful. Makes I no waited. difference. Anybody got a question? That's a religion of peace for you. That's the religion of peace for you. They won't answer any of my questions, even though I have my hand up respectfully. And I called them elder. Elder, elder. Yes, sir. The man was waiting you all day. Bro! I'm from, sir. Cowards. Hi there. Uh, so, people ask me all the time, uh, as a Muslim, do you believe in equality between men and women? Uh, what are your views on that? About are men and women equal in the eyes of Allah and Islam? And if yes, could you give some reference from the Quran? If that's what you yes, sir. Thank you very much. The question from the gentleman here in the pinkish kind of top is a very beautiful question. He wanted to know whether or not we in the nation of Islam, what do we think about this notion of inequality in Islam between male and female? He wants to know what is our view as it relates to the female and the male in Islam. Well, sir, what we are taught, first and foremost, let me quote the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The companions were with the Prophet on one occasion and they asked him, dear holy apostle, after Allah, who should we venerate? Who should we look up to? The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, yeah. your mother. Yes. Another companion said, and dear holy apostle, after that, who should we venerate? The Prophet said, your mother. Another companion asked the same question, and after that, who should we venerate? And the Prophet said for a third time, your mother. On the fourth, the fourth occasion, when he was asked the question, he said, your father. And so what that tells us is that mother is to be respected three times more than father. We are taught in the nation of Islam. Listen to what we are taught in the nation of Islam. In the nation of Islam. In the nation of Islam. This bastard says our women are, are raised the the on a platform of honor and that. veneration. This is we we, we honor the women that bore us. Because without the female, there could be no males. Every one of us comes from her womb. And so, we are taught in the nation of Islam that no nation can rise any higher than its own. The woman is the actual secret and the key to the proper understanding of Almighty God Allah. She is very special. That's why the planet that we are currently on now is never referred to in masculine terms. The planet is called Mother Earth. Mother Earth. Because it's Mother who gives birth to all of humanity. You know, you know, you know. Wait, wait, you know. Why people are living? You son of Khanzi, you, know, you son you know, of a pig. Yeah, you know, brother. These white people, this Muhammad Ali Sato Salam, you know, said white people are living. You know, brother. May Allah curse there are, there are you. So yeah, many, may yeah. Allah curse you. There are so many beautiful yeah. things. Beautiful. That you I can share with you. One of them is the you ugly bastard. Very beautiful thing. While you have uh -huh. demonic voices demonic. like this, demonic. making so much yeah, noise. Yeah, it's haram. Very, you very son very of bloody. You are a legitimate child. Where's your daddy, bastard? Allah who had bought. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Look at him. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Shut up, you devil. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. 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 Allahu Akbar. Maybe the devil will go away now. Making pure noise. Imagine. Imagine. 
I'm assuming that this one claims to be a Muslim. Listen to the filth that comes out of his mouth. Listen. You bastard! He's not a son! Where's you your dad? All, you all tolerate this. Where is your dad? And you think Where is your dad? You think this is not a Muslim? Where is your dad? Can I ask a quick question? Yes, sir. Do you want me to come away? Just come closer. Come closer. Yeah, um. Where we've we've all dad? suffered. Mike, we've all suffered with lack of freedom of speech and huh? freedom of expression. Why do you have David in the sun? I mean, it's personally believed that Reverend, Reverend Farrakhan should Muslim. have the right to come here. Yeah, yeah, sure. so, when, when the British were kicked no, out of America, no, no, no. Uh, they, no, they made free speech.